since the 1970s, we've lost about 3 billion birds. It's a huge amount. A couple years of extreme drought right here in southeastern Nebraska, and we're seeing that in the populations, right? Um, we're seeing that in birds that normally would maybe breed four or five young, they might be having two. Numbers are declining steeply. Things like the bobolink, they need large open grasslands. Forest birds, shoreline birds, and especially grassland birds, all steep declines, 30% to sometimes 60 to 70%. I mean, those are huge numbers in a really short period if you look long-term and wide range. Grasslands are either shrinking in size or degrading in quality. Um, and a lot of that has to do in our part of the country with encroachment from trees and other woody vegetation. Each landowner has their own approach or thought process as to how they're going to manage their property or how historically their family or whoever had it before them managed the property. And so sometimes it's this changing the mindset of, well, this is how we've always done it. Um, and that's not always bad. There's a reason why they've done it that way. And I always tell people we can learn a lot from what was done historically, but now we can improve on it and build upon it. There is so much land that goes unsurveyed because the public can't access it. And so when private landowners say, yeah, you know, we, you can come out here and survey the birds, it, it helps us out immensely. Allowing these rangelands to flourish and, and spend a big chunk of the growing season growing that we have seen different bird species. We're utilizing a smaller area, as short as one, possibly as long as 14 days, and then we're off of it and let the grasses and forbs recover. Over the last 20 years, through the changes that we've made, we've seen a huge bump in sharp-tailed grouse. That's hopefully where up on this side we'll hear the uh, uh, bobolink and uh, grasshoppers. We're also going to take this little sort of we hear people say it. They'll be out here in a drought and they'll be like, it was nice, but it wasn't as pretty as last year. Exactly, what's happened, right? There's less birds singing, there's less flowers booming, and all of that is, and I can't say without the research that it's all climate related, but a large part of it is certainly exacerbated by the climate crisis.